bored. Hi, guys. We're bored tonight, so we decided to bring you a special edition of Scant Man. Give it to him, Whedon. Oh, I'm not doing it. <laughs> dude, dude, you got to your part of the dude. Oh, I, I'm going to let I'm going to let Becky do that from now on. <laughs> well, you know what? I know Mr. A will do it. He's a scatting man. Ba 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 da bo. Ski ya ba ba da bo. Uh, <laughs> oh, so, so how's everybody's evening? You know. <laughs> the only way I'm a scat man is somebody shits on my chest. Ooh. That's well, nice. that's apparently that's a fetish for some people. I know. Yeah. I mean, gee, good thing you weren't here for the pre-show talk because the pre-show talk, we talked about how men turn into ladies, and that was weird and disgusting. Yeah, yeah. This is my joke about um, the metal band <laughs> Dilate Your Son's Pussy. That came from the tax conversation about the uh, woman or girl, I guess she was young at the time, turned into a fucking man. Or no, 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 man, young at the time, turned into a woman. And that procedure I've seen many times on like a CGI oh, yeah. video. Yeah. They cut the cock head off and pull the skin down. They flip it around and turn it inside out and turn this way and put that up in there and tie it up in here. But yeah, to, in order to do that, they said you, it, it's not just, oh, you get the surgery, you're good. Now you got a pussy. No, it's a wound and you got to stick something in your wound like a dildo or whatever to keep it apart so it doesn't heal up. And this this person <laughs> was on like a reality show or something and the mother would come up to him like, "Wait, hey, you got to dilate your pussy or it's going to heal up. I'm going to wring your neck if you don't put a dildo in your pussy. I'll do it." That's a lot of cucumbers from the grocery store, huh? Oh yeah. my god. Uh, That's the worst thing oh you could ever th how do I you can't make a terrible joke worse than that. You can't think it's something. It's like, I'm not just saying something to be offensive. This is what is actually happening. A young person got his cock chopped off, turned inside out, and the mother is trying to help that procedure by sticking a dildo in their gaping wound so it doesn't seal shut. Now, that's that what all moms do is help gape out their sons. Pussy is hole? this is this something that has to be done continuously? Yeah, or... like, like an earring. You know when you get an earring put in? If you take that earring out, it'll seal and... up and you won't have an earring anymore. Yeah, you got to put a cock can... in your pussy or it'll seal up. I keep telling women, hey, let me put my cock in your pussy or it'll seal up. Doesn't work. <laughs> it's a real pussy and they don't do that. Oh, but this was an impromptu show, show, so... <sighs> We just decided to just shoot the shit because we're shooting the shit. And I've had a glass and a half of whiskey, so we're shooting the shit. Well, you know, it's there if he wants to join and talk some Lords of Rings. Oh, boy. I haven't watched Andor yet, but I'm going to later tonight. Andor oh, what? The new Star uh, Wars show. That the came new out. Star Wars show. Yeah. yeah. Well, Not Becky is here. I had a question for Becky. I noticed that one of her tweets, she said that a person in their 30s who gets blacked out drunk, something about how that's bad. And I was wondering if that was a, a rip on me because I passed out during the movie night. Oh, boy. <laughs> no, I, that was in reference to Steve, I'm sure. Steve the God <laughs> Conti. I was sure. drunk and uh, making an ass out of himself at the fucking wedding, Garrett's wedding. I'm Happy sure go back. I, have tie. I think they both have little micros. Ooh, they tickle each other's clicks. <laughs> but is there something really that wrong? What if you're in your own home? You don't, you know, you, you can go to work the next day, or maybe There's you don't answer. have to work the next day. There's your answer. Oh, okay, okay, all right. But yeah, yeah, if you're in a public setting and you embarrass people and you make an ass out of yourself. Yeah, you shouldn't be doing that in your late thirties. You're a dork. I think, I think it's you're the blackout dork. part because even if you're falling asleep and you're like kind of aware of your fucking surroundings, if you're a blackout drunk and then you're like announcement, 
<laughs> no, it's been your wife's a kind. He basically did, uh, he made the aristocrats joke with her whole fucking family. And then the son fucks the daughter and the ass and they take the dildo to dilate the pussy. No. And they sweat a little sweat. Ugh. <laughs> My know. thing is this. Like Gilbert, Granted, now Godfrey we have joke. Lyft and Uber for ride shares if you do get drunk and you and you can't drive. I prefer if you're gonna get drunk, you know, use that service. Don't go out driving drunk. Well, like if you, you don't do, have the money. If you get drunk at your friend's house, you rather just sleep in your car and wake up the next day. I can't come to work because my leg hurts. <laughs> my leg didn't fucking I was walking around Walmart and hurt like hell. I had to use a cane. It was terrible. <laughs> I didn't know what happened. Cane. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, look at that. Quadfather still has sunlight. Fuck you. Yeah, I don't think long, I've man. ever been blackout drunk. Though. I've I always know I've only, kind of what's going on. Uh, Same here. I got drunk like shit face drunk once. My cousin used to throw happy hour at my aunt's house. So, mm. you know, I'm around family, whatever. I'm all it is what it is. I don't know how much I drank, but I was lit. And I'm over here talking in some weird Google Gaga language, like just saying off the off the cuff shit. Oh, I don't even remember what I was saying. And all I know is I hit the bed when I got home, and I was out. And thankfully, the next day I did not wake up with a hangover. Because mm -hmm. everybody talks about the hangover, I was fortunate and didn't have one. But I don't drink, so it's not my cup of tea. You drink a lot of water. That helps with the hangover. Like I said, I didn't wake up with one. I woke up, did what I did. The next day, just like life was normal. I believe I had my PS3 at the time when we were playing MLB The Show. I think it was 60. When I tell you, bro, we were running some MLB The Show tournaments. People were not going to work to run baseball at the house. Gotta love PlayStation. What about you, Charles? Have you ever been drunk? Nope. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Not one not time. Only has he not been blackout drunk. drunk. He's not even been drunk at all. Nope, never been drunk. Uh, I have <laughs> been high. I uh -huh. I actually have been high, but um, I have never been drunk. Let's get high now, right now, Whedon. Come I'm on. curious to know what did the cops do? Did they give them the ride home? Because I've never seen anyone try to approach a cop while they were shit face drunk it, then you never seen me i got pulled over i was leaving my friend's house and the cop thought i was turning off of the street that was a you can't turn a certain way you know those streets and um he had me pulled over you know how cops take super long to get out the car when, yeah when they you you pulled over and they're like running your shit and they're taking super long Talk back super to long Super long, and I had to piss, so I got out of my car and I walked up to the car and I said, "Hey, man, it's really late. I'm falling asleep. I gotta piss really bad." And uh, I turned on my friend. My friend lives here. It's not the road, and so he's like, uh, "Wasn't that road your friend's house?" It's like, "Yep." All right, you can go. So I left, went to a gas station, got some gas, and puked outside of my car doorway and drove home. <laughs> Dude, my cousin. <laughs> He was driving home. He was shit face drunk. I wasn't with him. I was asleep. No, he was shit face drunk. He ran off the road into some bushes. Car got stuck there, would not come out. Cops pull up behind him. He blamed it on a dog. Like he sobered up all of a sudden. You wanted like, to yo, hit a dog, so you aimed for it. Why would you blame that on a dog? Oh, you tried to kiss the dog. Swerved. Oh, he swerved, swerved off the road. And literally. A few, uh, like, a hundred feet from where he, uh, not a hundred feet, but a hundred yards from where he was, there was a dog that got hit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so it played off great. See, he's a dumb dog. He kept wandering in the road. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that shit was hilarious. Charles, oh, have you ever thought about man. trying edibles? You got high. Uh, I've heard some interesting stories about edibles. Um, I know that you're not supposed to eat like a whole one. Well, uh, no, 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 no. Speaking Let's of that, I'll show you this. 
Continue. It's all depending. Like, if it's a whole cookie, no. Like, a yeah. whole brownie, no. If it's a fucking gummy, a gummy is on the average 10 milligrams, which is the standard. Uh -huh. You should be okay with it. You just got to know that he, uh, you got to, um, well, I was thinking across the lines of the in. cookie or the brownie. I wasn't thinking about the gummies. No, see, these gummies are labeled. Yeah. You see this? It says uh, one and a half for regular whatever, and one one gummy for a regular smoker happiness. Two for a dab smoker. I guess you get higher. And then it says three, just don't do. Yeah. I do. I do. But it's all on your tolerance level, too. Some people could do a shit ton. I'm pretty sure Jim could do a shit ton of edibles yeah. and feel great. Probably oh, fucking ass man here too. Look, yeah, when, like, Derek, weren't you just saying you ate a whole bunch like a shit? Oh, I got some M and M's. I ate that whole thing, and then I got to this. What, I ate to what V? No, is I saying, got... To what V is saying? I ha I like I said, I've never been drunk, but that doesn't mean I've never had alcohol before. I have drank it. Yeah, you drink meat, ain't meat a form of alcohol? Yes, it's a type of wine. Yeah, and you yeah. probably just drink enough to feel comfortable. I. The most I've ever gotten from mead would have to be a very light buzz. That's it. And that was at uh that was actually at a Renaissance fair just before the uh, just before 2020. I think it was like the rent the my local Renaissance fair in 2019. I, yeah, I, I think understand. I think mead has like a really low alcohol percentage. Yes. I think it, it's like less than beer. It yeah. back in the old days they had a hard time making like highly concentrated alcohol like you know mm. like uh, spirits but i had i had two <laughs> full cups of mead because they didn't put it in anything other than plastic mead. cups and i had two full cups and i started like sweating a lot and i got like a little lightheaded and that's it dude i hear yeah. you not too uh like seven years back one beer had me feeling buzz because i'm not a drinker yeah hey and becky I was like, Nope, I'm good. Becky, if Becky, your feet vibrate, Becky says, <laughs> and that's not what was vibrating, I don't think. Yeah, so if your feet vibrate, why don't you stick them in your pussy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. She was playing, she's playing with a rabbit again. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I'm curious to know that whole vibrating <laughs> feet thing. Like, so I know when I, get, I when, when I do the edibles and I get high, I could either, like that one show I was high as fuck on, Everything was funny as shit. I don't care what it was. I was cracking up, just derailing the show with laughter. Ooh, would you think this joke is funny? I made up a great joke today. It goes like this. A guy walks into a bar. He has no nationality, religion, or any specific characteristics about his physical being. And two other guys walk in behind him just the same as he is. They all walk up to the bar at the same time. The first guy, he orders a whiskey. The second guy, he orders a vodka. The third guy, he gets a glass of water. You get it? So in this joke, uh, <laughs> the, the bar was called what? That's one thing you've left out. What the fuck? I don't get it. <laughs> oh, you know, it's not a joke. It's a riddle. The happy clam <laughs> was the name of the bar. Yeah. Thank you. I wouldn't have slept. And, uh, oh, 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 you know what? Then Gino they all... punch Gino. Then Pac Dixon punch Gino. <laughs> yes. And then Derek raped Stormy. They oh, all leave the car at the same back. time, and they get in an accident. And the only one that dies is the one that had water. Irony. That's kind of the water oh. was irony tasting. It tasted like iron. Yep. I taste some irony. irony in this water. Hi, Jim. Happy belated birthday, Baggett. No, if <laughs> you're again. early. You're early. Yeah, his birthday. Wasn't your birthday there. the other day? What was that picture with you and the cake? Everyone and the... lies. They all lie. It, but it's close enough that I don't. I am not contesting it. I'll never tell. I'll never tell. You remember when that went fucking creep? Derek, you're an old creep. Remember when that was just everyone was walking around going, I'll never tell, because of that <laughs> fucking Britney Murphy movie. Back in the day? Yeah. I remember that, that was the shit. fucking worst. I hated it. I wanted to punch every person in the thing. Hey, they won't tell. So, you know. 
Frankie. Oh, Mac you still felt bad when she died, though, right? Are you serious? Frankie McDonald has an OnlyFans. I no absolutely way. felt this way when she. <laughs> he went limp. He was about to show his finger going limp. I think. No, he did the joke. He just disappeared. I would do it too, but I can't quite make it work. I disappeared, much like Brittany Murphy's career before she died of drugs. She took drugs. She took too many drugs. Frankie McDonald killed her. Not true at all. Her, her husband is oh, like Jim a has an OnlyFans. She, she was drugged gotcha. by her husband. Oh. The so picture of him with the mom. cake. You were naked in that, I think, yeah. Ba -da -ba -da what, else? Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. what else do you show in your own costume? Do you lift up your beard and show what's <laughs> That I'll do for free. Bum, 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 bum. What's the oh, music? Wait. That was like sci-fi music. That didn't, didn't work. What's like, give me that Beverly D'Angelo in the shower music. The question is, do you want me to remove you? Oh, look at the <laughs> weak chin. Sex. Weak chin. Ready for this? <laughs> hey, Jim, I think you need an OnlyFans, bro. I think the, they're clamoring for it. Yeah. Clam? The clams are clamoring? Clamming for it. <laughs> weak chin. Clamming. There's no chin here. No. Nope. No chitty chin chin, not the hair, hair, hair. Oh, no, that don't Just imagine, there's still hair on it in what you're seeing here, so. Jimmy no chin? Mm -hmm. No chin, Jimmy. No chin. Jim, were you in the recent episode of the the Rings show? Oh, <laughs> you were are you calling rings? me a black goblin? No, no, no. Uh, you you were wearing the Jimmy blue wants you to go spelunking. Kind of dressed up like, kind of had the colors of Superman. Who was that guy? Who watches the rings? God damn it! Oh, the Charles, guy who looked like Jim. About that, um, the one guy's wife. If you pay attention to like her side, she's growing in like some hair towards the side. So maybe they do grow in beards. You mean the as dwarf? they get older? Yeah, the, the dwarf. dwarf wife. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't notice, notice that. that. Sorry, yeah, guys, to interrupt. I gotta go prepare mentally for this show. I didn't prepare no, at all. So, just, oh, this is just microwave. Microwave. Weird. Microwave. Yeah, but I'm getting too uh, like anxiety. I have to go prepare. Oh, anxiety! Oh, he's got to do fucking Lamaze. <laughs> that helps us. I want to be mommy. <laughs> but yeah, there's a. Oh yeah, I did notice the facial hair on the the dwarf. You noticed it, right? You didn't notice yeah, it yeah. Well? I was like, is that? I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. I guess they're all supposed to be Scottish, whatever. Well, because in the Lord of the Rings movie, Gimli says the women have beards. And Ooh. we didn't pose the question, I think it was during the first she premiered in the second episode, right? I think so, yeah. So he posed that question and we were both like, hmm, maybe it grows in. Who fucking knows? Or are they like picking and choosing? That so, is a, it is a weird character though. Come on. In the like, fourth episode, you start. I notice. I'm like, oh, hold up. She got some facial hair growing in towards the bottom. Is she growing her beard? Like, she got these so Scottish weird. dwarves. They're, you know, they're Scottish. They're not only just dwarves. You know, they they got all that stuff, and she also has to be black. Come on, people. Do you have well, to she's a made up. Parent. How do you, you got three things now? He's short. She's Scottish and she's black. Come on. She's made up for the show, just like the Black Elf is. They're, I know. As they it's come just... to find out, they can only cherry pick. They can't really do anything with the symbolism. I, I like her character. Oh, I'm not muted. Sorry. The Black Elf is not made up for the show. That's called a Sylvan Wood Elf, which also proves What's what is elf? made up. What What is made oh, up oh, is, you know, the it. fancy elves with their stupid long fan. You know, the fancy ones that Liv Tyler was a part of. They it's have a Black wrong. Elf, right? They if I'm did, not mistaken, did. I thought somebody said they did. If they do, that's wrong because the Sylvan Elves, a.k.a. Wood Elves, the Black Elves, they're a specific race of elves that did not go over the mountains went with the other elves. So hmm. the there is no, like, inter breeding so if there is a black elf on the other side of the mountains it is completely against lure he'll be coming yeah. over the well, mountains when he comes in the main movies there is no black people <laughs> they don't have it's interracial so, porn you. with elves come on now charles whedon's favorite elves? world no black people are wood elves because oh, you know come on 
is wood brown, and that's why you know it's a wood elf. And... Charles, would you make out with a chick if she had a beard? No. <laughs> she, what if would she was you? a dwarf and black? That's trans. That's transphobic, buddy. Come on. How is it transphobic? There's women with. More facial hair than some men. Yeah, they're not a trans if they have a beard. They're not trans. They, have they just trans. They have that hormone where they have to like. They can't. Sh- I wonder how they do get rid of because shaving it makes it grow in thicker and faster. You so can shave off the beard. Wax you can't shave off a penis. <laughs> <laughs> he already said, talking look, about penises being shaved. He off said no to side. calamity's dinner day. A big gaping hole out of your penis. How about this, Charles? Would you have a dinner date with Becky? She'll make you some peanut butter cookies. She's married, but... It's just dinner. Nothing else involved. No sex involved. She'll wax for you. (laughs) You guys can't touch penises. No docking. Get the words out your mouth, man. Leave Becky alone. She's married to a very nice, small Filipino boy. And and you're putting Charles in a very precarious situation right now. All look, right. She'll, I, look, she says she'll make you her, your favorite meal, which is, I don't know what, but... Tuna? Oh, I, I fucking hate tuna. <laughs> I fucking hate the smell of it. Ugh. Oysters I found row. Jim in the... the uh, the rings of power. Oh, him. <laughs> oh, that kind of looks like wow. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Let's see if there's a better. I get a better I wonder view when of he him. dies. I don't know. But this, of course, takes place a thousand years before the events of the movies. So, yeah, he's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my coffee, woman. Where's my coffee? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold, on, hold, on, hold 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 on. There we go. Bring me my coffee. What time is it? My mic's muted. Why is my mic muted? Damn it. <laughs> it's a 17 hour video. <laughs> I've been at this all day. <laughs> Tyler! I will kill you, Tyler. You have nuked me for the last time. Oh, I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's corrupt the children. <laughs> oh, Again? <dear>. Mm. <laughs> um, Brandon says Charles is a big steak guy. Is that true? I do like a good steak if it's cooked right. How do you like your steak cooked? Medium well, medium yeah, rare? Medium well. So a little. What are we talking? Filet yeah. mignon, a sirloin. I've what? never had filet mignon. I've never oh, had dude, it. Dude, I had filet mignon once and that's sure. so good. Loin. Yeah, but I uh, know I've only ever had like steak or like a cheeseburger, uh, just medium well. I've only ever had it medium well. I like medium well. It's pretty good. Um, I have to have it with uh, barbecue sauce, though, because that, that adds a little bit of flavor to it. So, what about a one sauce or whiskey? As I'm about I've, to tell I've you, never had, I've never had a one sauce, so I wouldn't a1 know. Sauce is okay. And uh, what's that other one? Uh, Heinz fifty seven. Never yeah, had that either. Yeah. You never had a one sauce? That stinks. You gotta have a one. Have a one the... sauce? Fuck barbecue. Not with well, get, get out of here. Shut up. Are you Winchester. talking about things like that are made at home? You never been to like a steakhouse because at a steakhouse you wouldn't need no barbecue sauce. Uh, I've had steak itself at home, but yeah. in regards to like cheeseburgers, I've, I've had it here, but I've mostly had it at restaurants. So um, I need. Oh, go ahead. Finish I've, tonight. Uh, like we ha- we had a re- we keyword had a restaurant here that closed down because of you know. Yeah, botulism. No, yeah, yeah. Let, we'll go with that. Yeah, botulism. You guys uh, all barbecue a lot. Everybody barbecue yeah, a lot. Louis yeah, it, it, it was. Lot. It was, it was called. Movie. It was called Famous Dave's. It was my famous. It was my favorite restaurant. I fucking loved going there. And then it closed down. And uh, was it due to the the bullshit? Yeah, it was due to the bullshit. 
because oh. nobody nobody was going there and they didn't make enough money, so they were forced to shut down. But they didn't fucking improvise and do Uber Eats, DoorDash, Grubhub. Not, That's what a lot not, of other restaurants did. Not, not that I'm aware of, but it's just like every time I went there, like around the beginning of the bullshit, um, <laughs> nobody was in there. It was only just me nobody. and maybe a few other people. Yeah, that sucks though for a lot of these restaurants, even like yeah. mom and pop ones who. Yeah. The thing is, Famous Dave's is not a mom and pop. It is a nationwide food chain. It is. I've it never is. Heard of it. Yeah. 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 They they got them out here. Yeah. Um, well, speaking it could of have been your location, just shot at shit and just went. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, I really miss that place because they had fucking amazing barbecue cheeseburgers. Well, when you come to Florida, I'll take you to a good steakhouse. Don't Are fucking you- remind me. <laughs> I got a story to tell, and then I'll go back to the steak. Uh, um, I was oh. doing prank phone calls one time with my dad, and my dad did a, a prank. He called the uh, Burger King, and he told him that there was a <laughs> there was a, a, a case of botulism, <laughs> and the woman on the phone didn't know what botulism was <laughs> because it's food poisoning. People were eating Whoppers and throwing up. I used to... <coughs> I used to get free pizzas because I call like uh, Pizza Hut or whatever, and I do an old lady's voice. I say hello. This is Martha Fresno. I bought a pizza from you the other days, and my my grandson and I were eating it, and we started throwing up all over the place. He was throwing up on the curtains and on the floor, and they give us a free pizza. And I say, well, I'm too old to drive. My grandson's going to come and pick it up there. And that's how I go pick it up. Yeah, I'm here to pick up pizza for Martha Fresno. <laughs> fresh snow. Just I thought watch. you said fresh snow. Just watch. The people at that Pizza Hut are watching this stream right now and they're like, oh, that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one's years ago. They're like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah. They hate that place. <laughs> I was thinking, in, bro, Pizza Hut used to be so good. Now you order a Pizza Hut pizza and it's like, ugh. What well, other place would have a a uh, what was it a buffet a buffet with pizza in it a pizza buffet? They Can shut down like we used to have where I used to live. They had a Pizza Hut that had the buffet and all that shit. They shut the that salad shit down bar after a while. Yeah, well, they don't have salad bars. Like... Bro- shut up for one second, one guy. We have a special guest. We have Mr. Anthony <clears throat> Denhauser here. I don't know who he really is, but he wanted what? to join the stream. So <laughs> Why please. is no? Oh, oh no. hey, what's up? <laughs> How you doing, sir? What's up, what's up, guys? <laughs> You're muted, dickhead. I'm muted. Guys, 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 we're gonna get in trouble with Gino. Get him out of here. No, no, he'll no, never, no. he'll never, we'll never get a mention on in hot water again. This is fucking. I can't be. I got can't be associated with this guy. I, I gotta go. I gotta go out. Uh, uh, I, I gotta get out of here, guys. I just want to talk. I hope he's not here to yell at me for jumping on Gino's side and making fun of him on in hot water. I'm not Superman. It I wasn't don't know me. What the fuck is going on? So, I don't know <laughs> so you guys done? You guys are, are we? Are we? Uh, is that is that guy? Is that guy gone? I, I guess so. Be, he might not be. I don't know. You can never tell. So he, so you know, you 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 know, we made up, right? Me and me and Gino are fine now. Was that before? Oh, was okay, that good. Then I can yeah, stay. You were, Hold on, yeah, I'm getting a lot of. At, I'm getting a lot of uh, yesterday with him, right? Okay, I didn't know if that was before or after he, he kept going off. <laughs> well, what happened? What had happened was I've known Gino for about twenty years, and he's mad that I'm friends with Pat Dixon as well. So that's the main. Not just thing. friends. He's mad that you know he kind of didn't. Oh, you know him. Or something oh, like tell me, tell me why he's mad then. I'm good because he you didn't take his side or something. You know you but, didn't. No, you know. good answer. No, no, um, no, you can't be like that. I think. Well, you know, I don't know. I, I'm not in Gino's head. Uh, in like, I don't know what he's. I don't know how he thinks about everything. But I think he felt hurt. That I well, was so physically, with. yes. <laughs> he was, he hurt, was hurt. Well, he's also, you know, he's also dying internally from cirrhosis, and but he he uh, he felt bad. I think he felt like angry that I was still working with Pat, even though Pat punched him in the face. Even though that was my gig, I worked with Pat for you know 
a few years, about five or six years. As soon as Compound Media started, Pat was the second show on uh, Compound Media before In Hot Water. So Gino, uh, Gino was not the first guy there. I was were already there before Gino working with Pat doing Crime Report, writing for stuff, doing segments. And uh, I guess he was, ang- I guess. The Creepy Corner, too. Right? Well, the Creepy Corner was just a pilot. A lot of people got pilots on the on the network. I mean, we just, E-Rock was nice enough to put the pilot on there, but it, it didn't go anywhere. So uh, that was whatever that was. And then. Well, you got Frankie uh, McDonald from it, so it went somewhere. Right, 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 right. Well, Frankie McDonald is a whore. He'll do, I mean, obviously he's done your show, right? He's, he's the sponsor you. and owner of this show. He yeah. owns yeah. this mm-hmm. property. And I'm uh, glad he you used not that denied it once. Another one. Right, right. If he sees the link, he'll probably pop in and say hi. Also, yeah. so he would be an amazing slave. Like a, he would be an amazing like uh, plantation owner, wouldn't he? Like a slave owner. Like he'd be like, I'm going to whip him all free it on I'm going to whip all. I'm going to whip the black guy now. I'm going to whip him good. I, don't know. <laughs> I think I would pay money to see that. They're not picking cotton. No, no. Huh? I'm cotton running. comes from the south oh, of America. People, people like cotton from America. They, they, they use cotton for their clothes in America, and I'm going to make them make make cotton for them in America. <laughs> I don't oh. think he'd be smart enough to do that. I, don't I know. he's very savvy. He has more followers than than you guys will ever have. I mean, oh, yeah, of course. He is. He oh, has. He yeah. has a silver YouTube award for two hundred thousand followers. The Top fucking down. garbage basement, the ghetto basement podcast has more followers than us, and it's six fucking right. retards just fucking looking at each other. Right. And unlike right. this show. Unlike this show. No, exactly yeah, unlike this show. Story. This is a professional program, Anthony Zenhauser, much better <laughs> than the than your program with Pat Dixon. I mean, maybe not this know, show, because Lou just wanted to come on. Yeah, and- this wasn't nope. actually a show. <laughs> this is, you know, I, I'm not even I, here. I came here to find. This is the last. Uh, this is the last piece of the pie. And uh, this is like your your a. It's the a- end of your a- road. You do all these steps. Is, now you're apologizing. To all well, I have to. It's like uh, the twelve step program. Yeah. This is yeah. This first you apologize to Gino, which is ironic, right? This is the landing. I should, I, I should apologize to, G- to Gino first, and then I have to apologize to all the uh, the troll podcasts that that sprouted from in hot water. Well, we are Gino's faggots. Understand Gino is what happened. He was physically assaulted. He was in the worst amount of pain. And anyone who didn't join his side was scorched earth at that point. So that's how crazy. You you understand there's also the kayfabe of radio, too. And it was great radio. And people people tuned in if they heard, like, oh, uh, I'm going to Zenhauser's coming on to talk about Gino. Like, you you know, somebody would get another bump of 15 or 30 followers just to maybe even just trolls to come in to. Tell Gino, do you know what Zenhauser said? Do you know what he said still, about you? It's you know, still real to me, it's damn it. Oh, whatever, you know. I love Gino. He's a great guy. He really is a great dude. He's a really funny dude. And uh, it's a shame. I, I pulled him aside yesterday. I pulled him out of the cameras. Because there's cameras in the green room. There's cameras in the studio. I wanted to pull him aside and have a talk everywhere. with him. And he's a, he's a sweetheart of a guy. He, he wouldn't hurt a fly. And I'm like, dude, I'm not... You know, I was like, I was like a bad boyfriend. I'm like, dude, I'll never hurt you. I would never hurt you. You know, did you guys like, kiss again? Like, uh, kiss again? Yeah, uh, again, like after know, the Metallica episode. You know how a gentleman is. We don't really tell. Oh yeah, <laughs> everything. I mean, why would so you act like they kiss? Like, really quad. He gave me a kiss on the cheek. It's, it's that's what Gino does. Yeah. And then he stabs you in the back, and then you and then you make up again, and then he kisses you again. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Tomorrow, it. Then tomorrow he'll call you a faggot or something. Well, listen that's again. I had no problem over. getting my balls broken. He was like, "I live with my mom." I'm like, "That's fine. I don't care about that." But then, like, you know, people. It wasn't too about, far. People start talking about my kid, and then I get. I, I told him. I said, "Don't talk about my kid." No, kids are off. You're talking about like your kid. We're talking yeah. about you. Yeah. And how that handles it. If you someone gets pissed off uh-huh. at a deadbeat dad and doesn't like that situation, they should have every right to make fun of you, not your kid. We're not. Right. Difficult right, situation. Which is, fine. Yeah. which is fine. And I, I just, you know. And I don't know your situation, so I'm not saying you are you know, okay. We're just right. getting. But the problem is when people start mentioning my kid, it, it becomes like people get it in their heads to start doxing pictures of my kid. Ooh, that's not Start good. going into, you know. I don't. That's something I don't approve of. I don't care. You can yeah. do anything you want about I got fucking. Yeah. I got, we gotta... I'm, in, I'm a big embarrassment, dude. I, I, there's no <clears> vanity in comedy. I'll do whatever. 
like this what? guy here. He doxed. Uh, he tried doxing my children. Uh, vile Oliver. No, I tried this having sex with them. Charles. Uh, that too. No, that was Rusty, who used to be on the podcast. He tried docking with my children. Uh, but this guy where's tried the, to dox where's the, my where's children. Where's the black? Oh, black he, he's. Uh, he, well, he, he, he hides from guys like He's you. late. He's kind of a puss. <laughs> no, this wasn't a show. This wasn't a show. Uh, I'm in the middle of making plan. a pizza. Um, I, mean, I'm, I mean, I'm late. I mean. Near Near but let me Cog. ask you this: I'm, sh- Who, I'm sh- sure your opinion, uh, your view on the whole punch has been asked elsewhere. But let me ask you: Who you do you think when Gal- Galadriel punched? Uh, no, Gal- no, no, no. Uh, we're not talking about that. No, no, the other one. Oh, Gino. <laughs> oh, I was hoping you get another one, but That's, yeah, the Gino oh, Dixon uh, punch. So many of them, Merlin. Uh, I don't know who else is on the show. <laughs> who um, would you say had a more yeah. of a right? To punch Gino, you or Dixon? Who had more of a right? Ryan yeah, I mean, Gino I, did bring up your kids. You, to me, that's think, a slappable offense. I don't but think anybody had the right to punch Gino. Agree. You don't I have the right. Him, I said, I don't sign off. I told him that I, lo- I like Pat. He's my friend. I, don't, I didn't sign off on him punching him. But uh, one, I, would be, one would be more righteous than the other. I kind of think Pat righteous. was just wow. a... Biz- yeah, there's a righteous punch. There's righteous slaps. Yeah. Some people did, deserve a knock-in. Did you tell that information right. to Tommy Karate in confidence that you live with your mother? <laughs> yeah, I told. Well, you know, me, me and Tommy. We Anthony, live. don't feel bad. Charles we Whedon talk, lives with his it. mother. Yeah, I feel bad. He's the guy me. right next to you. He's also a virgin, so he has no child support. <laughs> thank you, Mister A. Thank you. Are you really? Are you? A vir- are you a virgin? He is. Yes, he's I a virgin, am. and he's. Yeah, dude, tell me, if he it. didn't work out, he wouldn't fuck. Why don't you just fucking get a whore? No. Don't <laughs> sully yourself. Could, yeah. dude, don't do it, Charles. We're gonna, do, we're gonna go meatballs on you, dude. We're gonna fucking grab a whore. We're gonna we're all gonna pay we're all gonna chip in. <laughs> we tried the door. <laughs> he turned us down. Probably not the black guy. He probably won't he probably won't put any money up, but no. the other guys will probably do it. Yeah, I will. Um, dude, come on. Don't you I mean I think it's a I think it's a, a, a good endeavor. And if anything, you can get a GoFundMe page. And if anything, ask your <laughs> guy ask, ask Gino. <laughs> Ask Gino to uh, to hook you up with one of his uh, girls. Yeah, what's your name? Kin- Kinanu. He could uh, maybe maybe Kinanu would do it. He's, got, he, he's a ladies' man. I don't know who he's with, but Charles, would you do an OnlyFans? Um, like, would you fuck a girl if she puts it on the OnlyFans, the deflowering video? Ooh, a, 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 a hot chick. If we could find a hot chick to deflower you, but she would want to put it on OnlyFans, would you? I'd watch I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to ruin your ability to run for president. That's uh, true. Oh, God, God, damn it. <laughs> oh boy! So, so oh, that's I another thing. Not. Vile Stormy, Oliver did Stormy here. Daniels in the chat. Charles used to be sexy. Uh, Vile Oliver found his old photos. That means he found some eighteen-year-old or high school pictures of Charles and started messaging all the people, all the girls who would watch us. This was years ago, and mm-hmm. saying, "Would you fuck him? I would fuck him." Mm-hmm. Made Charles right. very upset. Oh, I remember. I think he's still around. sexy, though. Is all I uh, is all I brought that up for. Charles, believe me, guys, guys uglier than you get laid, and I'm I'll t- I'll vouch for that. <laughs> I have two children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you're not she doesn't even know what was said. She just laughed because all I said was, "I have two children." Because yeah. she just knows. She knows what that means. I mean, I'm not beast. talking about my dick. All right. The guy on the far left is way uglier than all of you. So. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Far left. Who above you? Well, I have to wear this mask. I'm so sexy. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Well, he is a far left uh, ideologically, <laughs> but I think he's pretty. What so are you talking guy, about? Why is this guy wearing a mask? What's going on? With I this have guy? to wear this mask because I am so hot and sexy. Because he saves the All world. These That's would why. Join the show and watch mm. it. And just flutter like, hey, fuck my pussy. They would flood. <laughs> They'd flood our chat with, oh, please fill my pussy <laughs> with all of your cum. I can't take this mask off. I'm like. I'm hotter than Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio having sex together. Yeah. That would, that would be very I like hot. how he said all that, then he was like, the end. The end. Do you need more? You always end with Brad Pitt and DiCaprio fucking. That's where the story yeah, ends, because that's a good place. Are you trying to tell us something, Mr. A? It's like fan fiction. Trying. He's been saying it for like 180 episodes now. Yeah. <laughs> Just please, someone make me a video of Leo and Brad fucking. 
You know oh, something? Wait, so, let me tell you this real quick. Back in the AOL days, I uh-huh. had an all-girl ch- uh, clique. It was all my friends were good-looking chicks and some fat chicks, right? right? And they all loved Leonardo DiCaprio. It was the Titanic days. Leo, um, according Leo, to our audience, Leo. though, I was probably 45 then because I'm 89. But uh, they all wanted to see Leo's wiener. It was going around that Leo had a leaked nude wiener photo. Mm-hmm. So I uh, went on the internet because I was the only one who had it at the time. Nobody have that shit and i got them leonardo dicaprio's wiener i printed it out and everything uh but then i like just forgot about it and i left it in the printer uh and just went about my business because it wasn't like any (laughs) weird thinking things and my stepfather found it a peruvian minister and uh he took me to a pizza place i I had no idea what was going on took me out to pizza sat me down we fucking were started he's just like getting into me like asking me questions like really paying a mind to me and trying to do something i was like the fuck is going on here and then I'm, it just got awkward, and then he reaches into his fucking uh, tweed jacket and pulls out the paper and unfolds it on the table and goes... And slid it forward oh, like you're in a fucking this. confessional or something. Do you, yeah. Do you want to talk about this? Mm-hmm. I found what this in the printer. This? I didn't kill him! I didn't kill him! So you actually found uh, you found his wiener? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah. Funny. How was it? If I remember correct, it was just fine. I mean, it, it was, was like a midget baby's arm, like a, not a not a full sized baby, like a little person's so baby. Oh, was it flaccid yeah. or was it? I mean, semi or? If I recall, it was flaccid. I mean, my was he on a beach or I something? Not, I thought... I'm not. Flat yes, I think he was on a beach. Flaccid. I think he was on a beach. <laughs> I have no. I have. A, I have a real any. When it's, he did when a movie called Beaches. Flaccid. He did a movie called Beaches, right? So maybe that's where that picture comes from. No, I think he was just on a nude beach in a paparazzi. So every time you eat pizza, do you think about uh, Leo's cock? Leonardo DiCaprio's. Oh, not and... beaches, but the beach. The beach. You know, I, yeah, I think beach about the fucking movie. Michelangelo. <laughs> beaches is that movie where that woman gets cancer and dies with her friend. I don't yeah, remember. That's that's that movie bad, needed. That's, that's, that's the movie Midler that needed. in the eighties. Bette Midler and the and the girl who dies. Yeah, that's that movie needed movie. Leonardo DiCaprio's dick. So Lucas from the back. Uh, all the way uh, what does Midler that think about Frank man? Pellegrino? They need, they need so I'm here. So I, I came on. I came on because I heard you wanted to talk to me about Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Talk about that. Okay, I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get. I'm not like. I'm not really a gossipy guy. So Did you play really... one of the war elephants? <laughs> Did I play one of the war elephants? We were ready to. We we were finna talk about Leo's dick, man. Uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, what we do don't you need no about? gossip. What do you, what do you, okay, I'll go with you guys. What do you want to talk about? Well, what we usually do What's is we just part to stand on make retard at, noise. In, in is... Sullivan's. When you <laughs> go to Sullivan's, where's your favorite spot at the bar to hang out now? Yes. I don't. I never go. I never go to Sullivan's. Oh, okay. I'm not part of that clique. I usually I go there to work and then I go home. So when I, Pat Dixon a, punched Gino, smoker. what did you? I don't, I don't drink. Yeah, I, I also don't drink much. I fucking I fag out at two beers. The, um, I have another line I'm to the done. retard song. Just we'll see. <laughs> We're talking about retards. I think he wants to sing a song for you, Mr. Zenhauser. <laughs> uh, no. it's, it's his world. I have a new line. It's to completely it's out of context. Oh, it's the retard done. show. <laughs> One. Oh, I forgot it now. Says potato. The oh, other eats his toe. You. Bust. Yeah, no. oh. <laughs> oh, they can't tie the shoe and they can't ha- count higher than two. It's the retard show. No, that's it's not a good line. No, you should cut that one. one out. Yeah, cut that one out. No. None are a genius and both are insane. It's the retard show. Okay. So, yeah, so no gossip. We'll just so do wait, completely so inside the, deep so cuts wait, for you. The guy on the bottom's the virgin? Yep. Oh, okay. The guy in the top no. fucks his retarded cousin. The guy in the top yeah. middle? Which mm-hmm. one? <laughs> I mean, Mr. A, he fucks his retarded Earth cousin. Work. In the I, mean, I believe Mr. A would. What I, What would I do? Fuck, a fuck cousin your York. retarded cousin. Yes, it's a goddamn Bizarro it. Superman joke. You oh, prick. no. I'm just locked in a closet. Do you want to have sex with me? He does. Well, he's, he's got a lot of talent. It's a now, show. Mr. Zenhauser, wouldn't you agree that In Hot Water was about to die until Superman showed up? 
and really <laughs> saved the day of that program. That's my statement. I love In Hot Water. It's a wonderful show. But to me, and Derek down here, he was going to kill himself until Superman came and said, Mommy! It was, uh, don't you agree with what I'm saying? I don't want. I don't watch the show, but is it? You was were it on good? the episode when uh, Superman called in and he was having the sex change. Mm-hmm. Wanted to get his cock cut off. You should be embarrassed, Becky. Why? That was a long time ago, though. For bringing you Those here. Were the good old days. Yes. She's embarrassed for bringing me here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why is she embarrassed for bringing me here? Says you're gonna tap out. Oh no, she doesn't know anything about me. Then I'm ready. I'm in it to win it. I'm in it to win it, guys. You can't. What, what do you mean? I can't. You can't I can't hang with you, fucking guy. You, you, you stuck. I was a big fan oh, of yours, man. I used to watch you all the time on Crime anymore. Report. It's over. Uh, no, I mean on Crime Report. Oh, thanks, man. Hey, listen. Your uh, impersonations were fucking hilarious, man. Like who me and uh, I. I forget who the Muslim God guy was. What's yeah, that time you said who me. Sorry. The uh, yeah, the, it oh, was the, that. Uh, the Muslim guy, yeah, 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 cool, cool, there you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that shit was yeah. fucking hilarious, man. Fuck great. off, Lou, don't show that comment. You're making me self conscious. I had to fix my hair. He said I had a mullet. I don't think I, you don't think I have a mullet, do you, Anthony Zenhauser? Turn it, well, tilt, tilt your head. It's called a, it's called a man bun or if faggot you, no, 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 I mean uh, swivel your head. You do it a swivel. You got a man bun. You look like you know, a faggot are, samurai uh, guy. Yeah, mullets, mullets are coming back, bro. Mm, yeah. Well, it's, a, it's, it's big. Man buns never... Man, I don't think man buns were ever fashionable. Uh, that's why I wear them, because they're you, not you fashionable. Do you do, you don't I like to fashion. fuck a man in his buns. The you woman know? just said to me, I don't you like what you're bun? doing with your hair. And I said, I don't care. Mm-hmm. What do you, why would I fucking care? About what you think of my what hair, woman? woman. Just some random woman? No, the one that... Uh, Broke two of his children. This old lady. It's like you don't care what your wife thinks about you. No, why would I do that? Seriously, yeah, was he that's gay? That's... Has she lost that last ten pounds? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Does she care? She knows I think fat girls smell like milk. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know a fat girl who calls herself milk. <laughs> Oh, Bradley, you rascal. So that I'm not kidding. It's true. It's like, oh, yeah, remember me? It's, I call her milk. She calls herself milk. <laughs> yep, milk. <laughs> now, I'd like to prove something to the Beckys out there. Oh, <laughs> you know she has teeth in her vagina. Um, they, they're all like, oh, you guys don't prepare for your show. Do you see, oh. Becky? This is what happens when the show, we really do prepare and work really hard <laughs> to deliver that fine uh, sh- show content that, that you guys have been watching. So I'm just saying this is hard, hard work. And now it's proven, clearly. Yeah, I was going to talk about some weird bold. video game demo I downloaded. Now Zenhauser joined, and I'm deciding whether or not to be mean or not. <laughs> You can, be mean, you can be as mean as you want. No. Speaking of being mean, Zenhauser, this your, this Anthony. Is your, this is your show, buddy. Like, go ahead. Let it rip. Sure Anthony Zenhauser, do you think we should continue being mean and making rape jokes at a podcast full of retards? They made the first rape jokes. They said they were going to gangbang our mothers. Uh, and so in response, we made about, you know, a good 30, 40 minutes of rape jokes about mm-hmm. one of the ladies on their podcast. And then they cried, actually mm-hmm. literally cried. One of them on air cried about it. Um, not even the one we were making rape jokes about because she's super fat. You mm-hmm. can't rape her. She just roll away. Hey, you should should we stop? You should see if she'll fuck Scatman. No, no. no we, won't, we won't degrade him like that. No. Becky wants to fuck Scatman. Oh, oh, she does not. Becky does have a demented vagina. Oh, vagina dentata. Sorry. I... So, uh, should we oh, continue making you, fun of these retards and should, well, talking already, about raping them? Why stop now? Because they're retards. You don't want them. Yeah, but you're. It's okay to. It's okay to make fun of retards. It is, but how well, long? Well, supposedly basically? that's why you're in trouble with Gino because you made fun of Frankie. Is it okay for you to make fun of you because you, your eyes are close together and you look like you have Down syndrome? Who, me? Yes. I don't think they're that close together. I do. <laughs> Show them your nipples. No. You Do you agree that... See, his nipples. Look where look at their placement. God, man, them bitches are fucking like... Oh, look at you. you. You've been working hard. out your titties? A little bit. 
Uh, you need to get the machine to bring them. Sorry. Home, bro, you know? I'm trying to stick, keep my presidential <laughs> bid, Mr. Zenhauser. Gotta... Well, that's okay. I'm going to be back on this podcast for your memorial, by the way. <laughs> After I die of what? After I don't I don't know I don't know how you're gonna go. It's probably gonna be probably up, AIDS. Because I'm AIDS. AIDS. It's gonna take a long time uh, to kill that body with AIDS. Let me tell you something. No, I got AIDS and COVID. Let's double the fucking pneumonia. He died of pneumonia. I knew what it was. Ass fucking poor poor guy, victim of a modern age. What the fuck? It's me. He's excited. He's full of beans. It's not not all the time yeah. that I come on the show. Yes, there's uh, a yeah, big like, comedian here. He wanted to wait. I, he was. I was lured in here with token lore, and then ah. I, I got uh, I got bamboozled with uh, with with Gino. But no, you bro. I, oh, I I just did a great bit where I said, "Oh, I'm oh, so scared. Oh, he's screaming? coming here. I'm so scared. Oh, I'm so scared." I did a great uh, bit. You could have just let it go there. But right. you wanted to talk about it, well, so we talked a, about it. I, I didn't, didn't want to talk about it. I don't care about your shit, bro. I don't care about your shit. You don't care about my shit? So when did you start comedy? Who shit? <laughs> uh, so when did I start comedy? Yeah. Well, you didn't start I, comedy. Comedy I, was going on a long before. Have I started? <laughs> I saw you live at a secret yes. show. You did some fucking fantastic retard jokes. You see, yeah. when you had that mustache, I like how you look now. I think you look much better right now, yeah. but you looked fucking retarded with that mustache. You looked like a gay rapist. And, and your eyes are I think it added. I think it made... Uh, that was one of the things that was so memorable. Was it not his, his gay retard rapist mustache that really, and those retard jokes that really fucking won us with him? Woman? She's got headphones on. She's listening to this. She'll answer in fucking two minutes. She's like, I've never told any retard jokes. Um, yeah, you did. He said so. I think it was even about a raping a retard it might have been. I don't remember. Do you remember the retard joke you told at the secret yeah, show yeah, at I mean, Matt Mead's house? That might have been uh, Larry Beha. No, it wasn't Larry <laughs> fucking Beha. I'm not sure if it was me. I don't think I talked about raping a retard. I didn't say it was rape. I said it might have been rape. I even came up to you afterwards and said, man, I loved your retard joke. You touched my titties. You fucking asked me to go in the back room with you. And I said, no. I'm going to write you're blocking it out. Raping a retard know, right like now. This, I feel like a lot of this is fabricated. It is not. Do you have a retard? You don't remember when Bob Levy tried to rape the boy? He was trying to rape a 17-year-old boy that night. And then Nothing. fucking I had a karate kick you out of the way because you were trying to hold the boy down. Mm-hmm. And then uh, this whole thing happened. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, this guy's full of shit. You do you have a retard joke in your arsenal that you oh, do on stage? Yeah, I remember this gym was really fat. I don't think I do. Me. That's probably yeah, yeah. I was very, very fat then. There's retard. something there. There's something there. I raped a retard. I would like. I would like to have. A, I would like to have a retard joke. You yeah, there's joking. something there. You do have a retard joke, you jerk. Somebody I, who recorded I, oh. that fucking show. Somebody who recorded that show, please fucking post his retard joke where, where online. Was it, it was it at the uh, was it at the the house? The Matt Mead's house. house. Was it at the, was it at Matt, Matt's house? It, it was you the it was the them. one that was supposed to be the island show. Oh man, which then, all that then cocaine went... is unbelievable. I can't I can't hang with those guys. Uh, I don't really stick around after the show. I don't really like to meet people. You're afraid of Larry B.S. vacuum? Larry B. You're talking about his nose? He uh, has a vacuum vacuum straw. He does, yeah. It's it's a big, a, a, it's a, I got my pee on him that night. Did you? What the yeah, fuck? I had pee on my hand, and then people wanted to go into the... I don't know that I actually had pee on my hand, but I it was touching my wiener. I just shook it off. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure some dribbled on. Pretty and... Uh, they wanted in the bathroom so bad, and they're like what banging the on the door. Man? And then as I open it up, I'm going to wash my hands, and he was just like, "Hey!" And I'm like, "I got wiener on my hand." He goes, "I love it, I love it." And he just yeah. went like that, and then he, he did the just, the black thing where they do like, your finger stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like Mister Zvenning and Mallrats after those <laughs> pretzels. <laughs> Good reference. Did you see Clerks Three yet? I'm not gonna watch Clerks Three. Why? He sent it to us for free. Who, Some, anybody who doesn't want a spoiler, take your earphones out in three seconds. One, two, three. Uh, they I killed Dante. It. Dante dies That's right. in the end. He was supposed to die in the oh, first was one. He, he was. Oh, he yeah. Was. The alternate ending. I love it. I mean, I think the first Clerks really had a big impact on, on the generation of people who watched it. 
you're my age, right? What are you like, like forty two? Yep. 43? Yep. Yep. Exactly that. So, Me, you, and Derek are the same exact age. You, yeah. uh, is this, there, we, I'm there's 17. a kinship. Huh? I'm 17. You're 17? You need a sexy boy? V, you're trash. So did you, do you want him here? Or he Who? just keeps showing up, The this fucking jerk off in the... Oh, he was mess. a guest one day, uh, and he's been here since. He's adding nothing about? to the show. <laughs> He's our Heather Locklear. He's horrible. adding this mask to the show. You're oh, horrible. Oh. You're like worse than Stavi Stavros, whatever his name is. It's the worst. Would you like me hey, to put him back? Like, there? Stabby Stavros, you in the ass. Like a <laughs> Stabby and fucking Stancil had a kid. Like a Stancil Stabby <laughs> combo. It's the worst. Okay, everybody, if you wouldn't like Mr. Zen, I'll put him backstage for a little time. Everybody hates Mr. A. I love him. He can, well, he can take it. He's been calling me a retard all night and stuff. Yeah, he, he called a him a like short-eyed retard. Like my heart, my eyes are a little are... close together. I know. I know. Listen. You, fucking, <laughs> you said you could take it. I won't do it again, man. You said you no. could take it. I kept doing well, it. Well, if you're going to put me backstage when I, when I retaliate, that's kind of a fucking... No, no, no not no, you backstage. No, not he was asking if you want you want him backstage. No, I want him out here. I love this guy. We would never put you backstage. Not enough, There's not I'm enough room because you're a fat man. I I'm, just, fat, I'm just kidding. Sure. I was, I was, I was exactly you your know, size it's, one it's year and one month ago. What? I was exactly your size one year and one inches. month ago. Um, I think yes. it's, I think it's okay to put me backstage if you want. Why would we do that? You're a big famous comedian. I am so famous. You were yeah, on the we'll gas put digital. You, we'll put you in the green room if anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they the weed. Yeah. Oh, over there on the other side. So you live in Jersey? I agree. Since you, since you don't like my comedy questions, you know. You I, don't go want ahead. To... Ask, what's your comedy question? All you said, I said was, when did you, did you that start? Retard, that retard no, I said, when did you start? Yeah. You said, oh, I, I started, didn't start. Uh, then you're like, oh, I didn't do a retard oh, joke, but of, you did. Yeah. You did. It was amazing. It was fucking fantastic. Uh, you said and you did. didn't start yeah, comedy, and I made a joke about him. He didn't start comedy. Comedy has already been going on. Right. And then we oh, all laughed. So he was right. Was and then you were going to talk about clerks and how big of a... And then we talked about clerks and do, did I... Okay, so let's let's talk about that group. first. So I'll talk about comedy yeah. in a second. But clerks, that first, that movie, that's the only movie that, that he had to make. Kevin Smith only had to make one movie in his life. What about James and Bob? What about the Chasing first, Amy? It's all horrible. I, I Chasing never, Amy's fantastic. No, Chasing Amy is nuts. What about that other one? It's horrible. Nuts. I agree What's with so him. good about he chasing sucked. Amy that you love? Mall rats, stupid. Mall rats Mall was. He's not a great dialogue writer. This is true. It, it's, it's not natural. Does he doesn't write natural. Doesn't write dialogue. action. It's all he does is dialogue. He constantly writes like he writes runoff sentences that the actors have Silent. to run. Through. They had to wrap it through rapid it fire. Silent. You know, there's like that there's no real like there's no real natural feeling in his in his scenes. But, yeah, uh, very much so. But Tusk that worked for it. Have you have you seen Tusk? That's no, actually my favorite of his I movies. Stopped. I tried to watch the reboot, Jane Silent Bob reboot. Yeah, and it was horrible. I think I heard Tusk was about you. None of them are good to me. me. After Dogma, <laughs> none of them are that good to me. Um, but I still love them because you know just nostalgia. And when, when I first saw Clerks, I just remember seeing it. I got it in like a Pathmark. Uh, you remember when they used to have the little video section, fucking just like one row of videos and shit. And I found it there and I was like, black and white. They don't do this. Who does this? This is brilliant. Mm -hmm. And then walking home, I remember just, you know, wondering what's on the tape. That's something that these fucking fruit booters miss these days with their instant gratification. Walking home and just imagining what's going to be in the game or in the. Well, that you know, was already movie. a big, but that was not already a big. Was that already a big movie by the time you got it on the on, no. on VHS? No, no. But by the time I've never heard of a damn thing about it, and I was into movies like there they was were, not they, a thing they you were couldn't constantly talking. It was like such a big deal when it came out because uh, it was like chain. It was like it like started like the whole indie film craze. Like everyone well, we started were... doing independent movies after. Like, are we talking the, about Dogma? The no, movie, Clerks. The movie oh, that Clerks. inspired Clerks was Slackers. You what? remember Slackers? 
No, no, that's what that's what Kevin Smith said. He, yeah, Kevin but it's Smith an inspiration. I wouldn't say the full inspiration. I thought his, well, what's movie his was full first? inspiration. It's in black and white. Well, there was just a lot. There was a lot of out. Dante's Inferno was an out. He wanted to make a divine tragedy. So th- there was a lot of different well, he influences. Really fucking missed the point then. He he sure did, especially when he caved. Look, it was the beginning of the end of his career with that movie when he caved on killing Dante. <laughs> he should have killed him at Dante, the end of that movie. It's, a, it's like a black Dante. Kill Dante. <laughs> Uh, but that's what I'm saying is it's like that's where there was a lot ended. of it could have ended. Yeah, but there was a lot of uh, straight to straight to tape movies back in those days. So I don't know. A lot of those could be considered like independent films. Like in the Clerks was that, the that stuff the one that, was pretty popular though. Clerks did make straight, it successful straight. though. He's right well, there. there. It was well, Miramax produced it. Eventually, that's why that's how it got distributed because yep. Miramax. Uh, and that's why now Harvey it, Weinstein mean. is holding Dogma hostage, and that's why well, you can't oh. find it on no streaming sites. Well, Miramax wants, made a lot. Miramax made all the great films. He he's wants five million. Time. In, he's holding it hostage in prison. <laughs> yeah, because he owns the movies, property. All that good shit. He mm-hmm. holds sure. the property, so he wants five million. If he gets the five million, if Kevin Smith can produce the five million dollars, he could get the rights back to the movie. And was he convicted? Is he in prison? Who? Uh, Weinstein. Has yeah. he been convicted yet? He's, he's, I don't you know. think he's in prison. That's he's in prison. Nah, er, everything just went civil. It was all civil suits. Oh, so it's, it's all okay. okay. Everything's just hunky dory. No. It's civil. Everyone's oh, it's fine. Then. Money. He oh, raped he me civilly. <laughs> he didn't rape Let's anybody. Chicks. He just he just got weird with stuff. Yeah, he got he weird. He just weird. jerked off his body. Listen, this whole rape shit gets thrown out, thrown around a lot. It right. does. Sure. Obviously, yeah. Anthony Zenhauser, you completely 100% unequivocally agree with me when I say that the real brave women are the women who said no and didn't take the big Hollywood career. And these women who fucking watched him jerk off and they fucked him, they got so much out of it. But yet, sex positivity, right? Prostitution, that's okay. All this stuff is good. But if you get a billion dollars for selling your pussy and you get a fucking career and you create a legacy for selling your pussy, suddenly like it's Jennifer bad and Lawrence. it's rape. Well, it's, Jennifer it's Indian, Lawrence, it's, you know she sold out. Indian giving, isn't it? It very Indian. much is. Yeah. They Harvey Weinstein is the victim in all of this, to be mm-hmm. honest. To be dead honest, he, he gave his part. He gave his part. All he wanted to do was jerk his little peen off in front of him. He wanted a little love. And you give it to somebody else. How much did those women seem to love him during? They were all, you could see all the videos of all these women who were crying rape at him. And they're all just fawning over him, laughing and giggling. So you fucked a fat man. I will fuck 50 milk smelling fat girls for half of the fucking gains those bitches got. But you know what? Those artists, real artist women who said no to the career because they didn't want to sell themselves and sacrifice mm-hmm. themselves, they're brave. They're heroes. I agree. He's 23 years in prison. I told you you agreed. He's in, he's in Rikers. No, not in Rikers. He's in, oh, um, he was in Rikers. I think he, well, he uh, shouldn't be. Free yeah. Harvey Weinstein, everybody. He's in Wendell Hashtag. Correctional Facility. Then how is he holding dogma? How do, you, how do you do anything in prison? You should have everything well, taken away. His, uh, I believe his brother is. His brother is also He owns his the rights. His uh, name owns the rights. I he think it might be the last thing he owns if I read something correctly. So it's Maybe always got his dogma. <laughs> dogma <laughs> he just dogma might be left with the one Kevin Smith property. Dogma was... Okay, now, no, Dogma was okay. Yeah, it was good. I, I didn't think Dogma it. was too bad. Yeah. I liked... Um, Mall Rats had a... You know, again, it's like... It goes from... The really good movie was always and will be the first Clerks. There was no reason to make a, a second Clerks or a I third Clerks. That was weird. I did like Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. I do think that that's a good movie. I love that. It's movie. all right. Yeah. I yeah, like, I like that movie. I mean, maybe because I was a kid when I watched it, but it, you know, it has a place in my heart. My heart. <laughs> all his movies are worth one watch. They're worth a watch. Okay, I'll give you that one. Agree to disagree. Okay. I like that. Yeah. So I started agree. comedy about uh, 20 years ago. It was the first time I got on stage. It was 2003. And you're from Jersey? I'm from New York. You're from New York. Originally you from, originally you're from a Jersey the city. Right now? Um, I grew up in, in uh, Peekskill. You know where Peekskill is? New York. In, in Westchester. Uh, I would. I, I uh, w- went to school in uh, Oswego by Syracuse. Mm-hmm. 
And when I graduated, that was 2001. That was the, the buildings just collapsed the day I graduated, like the, the, the month I graduated. So when I was coming home in September, like there was no, there were no jobs in the city. I went to school for broadcasting and radio communications. You graduated, you threw your hat in the air and it took down a building. It took down a building. Is that a fat <laughs> joke? No, you threw your graduation joke. Threw, uh, your oh, it's a 9-11 joke. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, he's, he's good. He's getting his timing down. Uh, I, I went to school Only for uh, now, 80 episodes later, and then he's doing good. I went to school for communications and then I decided to, I got some odd jobs while people were healing. And then I started doing stand-up comedy. I started writing jokes and doing and going into the city. I've always been a New York City comic. So that's where I met Gino. I met Gino and uh, all those guys, Pat Dixon. And, you know, I, again, I, I've known Gino probably longer than most people. So it's funny, like when we were fighting because we really, you know, we've been very close for a long time. Oh, here time. he goes again about this Gino. Ooh. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm good. I'm done. That's all I wanted to say. I was just tying everything up. I was trying to make things. Oh, Gino's my friend. Ooh. Yeah. Well, you, I'm sorry, you guys I'm sorry. sound like Damian Rogers right now. You were oh, saying, where's, Damien? where's all the good people tonight? Right? That's what I'm talking about. Again, where's, this wasn't a show. Where's the Shuggy and, and, and the Australian guy? <laughs> I'm left with time. like a fucking is a man child. I love I love the I love you, dude. I want you to take your mask off and be and be real. There he is. is that Damien? That's oh. <laughs> yes, it's me, Damien. I'm in Australia right now. You're not gonna take it's his, ma- his evil off? twin. He doesn't, want to, he, doesn't, he doesn't want to lose his job at NASA. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. You know, he does karate against cancer. Him. It's like this, um, would, this would be a guy who would be like a fucking like a, 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 a rocket scientist. He'd oh. be like a, a nuclear physicist, and then he finally gets to be himself on the podcast. It's, it's reasonable de- deniability, if I can say that properly, because I'm drunk. You reasonable, said it right. deni- yeah. You said it right. You're good. You're the best one of the show. It's the even if it's, obviously it's me. <laughs> Anyone who knows me would watch is like, yeah, that's fucking you. Now it's the like, guy, no, the he's guy, wearing a mask. Now, I say now, the n word. You don't know it's me. It's Lou. Reason. Are you are you Mexican? No, fuck. Uh, no. What what are you? But you, have a, you, have a, you have a you have a. A mi- like a minority beard. Same thing. It's He's like, quarter okay. black, Lou. He's quarter black, and then quarter black. Are you quarter black? Butter Pecan. Yeah, my dad. Puerto Ricans are hot. Puerto Ricans are cool. You, you finally you had a little fucking rhythm to this fucking podcast. <laughs> Thank you. You're keeping it, and I can. I can don't you want to know what Derek here. is? No, I couldn't care. No, oh, he's retarded and crippled. Derek, don't get up. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Stay there. Don't, you don't need to. <laughs> sit, boy. Sit. Okay. I can oh. <laughs> I'm a good boy. I'll sit. I love Crypt. You're Crypt Daddy, right? I love Crypt Daddy. Yeah, you bet. I love you. You're a very, you know what? You're the only guy that's actually I like on this show. What's He's that? Crypt look, Man Daddy. You're that the looks, only Mexican I actually like. What happened to it? This, this is what I've been cooking this whole time. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> I thought that was your cell phone. I thought that was a cell phone cover. <laughs> undercooked. It should be falling off if it were undercooked. It's like a fucking work of art here. Okay, what's on that? Ham or pepperoni? Uh, salami, jalapeno, jalapeno onion. Stained glass window. Fucking jerk. Look at that. that one right there. That one. That onion right there. Okay, we don't want to see your pizza no more. Go ahead and eat it. <laughs> no, I don't want to. I'm not, okay. I'm not here to make a spectacle. I mean, that pizza is a work of art. It should be put on so does your, your wife somewhere. Just, does your wife just baby bird it out of your beard after you're done eating the pizza? I get no mess in my beard. I'm a very clean really? boy. I'm very clean. <laughs> Do the grease test with that pizza. Remember the Simpsons episode when they're doing the grease test? They rub it on things. You can see through it. Mm. That's funny. Yeah, I remember. That's a, that was a, I love that episode. That's when he got really uh, fat, right? Yeah. Morbidly obese. Is that the, the Hulk Homer thing or something? What show is this? Where he wanted to get out of work because it was like he wanted a disability, so he decided uh-huh. to. And you know what the funny thing is? I think he reached he had to reach 300 pounds, which is like the average weight Yeah. of yeah. this podcast. 
<laughs> oh, that's so rude. We're much bigger than that all together. No, 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 no. With no. me included. With no me. average. Derek looks with skinny, but he weighs 300 pounds because of his wheelchair. <laughs> well, father, I weigh more like 450, actually. Cause... I know. And if Lou took off all his gold chains, he'd probably only weigh like 120 pounds. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Are you a big... So, Lou, how you did better, you meet you up with these guys? Are you all fans of Compound Media? No, I'm, I don't listen to Compound Media. You don't? Nor does Charles. He, so they know you, none you, of this. You, so I don't like really know people who listen to the internet. show and they just end up becoming members of the show. That's pretty I know, smart. I know Jim. Me, Jim, and Charles go back almost a decade. Who's Jim? Well, <laughs> oh, you're Jim. Okay. The duck and then who's Charles? Apparently, Charles. I'm Scant Man, the Virgin. I so this agree. corner here are the compound media oh, fans. Uh, okay, I have been unwillingly. Uh, they've been very unwilling uh, participants in my forcing compound no. into their world. Mm-hmm. No, it don't, it don't work. Fuck. It's, what, what are we doing here? Do this. I'm trying to make the compound. There you go. Look, me and Charles are the middle. We don't listen to compound at all. Okay. And then the other two, other four, the periphery. Yeah. The periphery are like I I enjoy it. some of it. I just don't follow all of it. Your compound adjacent, only through Jim when he puts on certain things like clips of Gino. Gino can make me laugh sometimes, not all the time. Mm-hmm. Well, that goes for everybody. Yeah, the comedy is always subjective. You like what you like, and it is what it is. That's just how you I know, feel. Always yeah. makes me laugh. My my first introduction to in hot water is just I was in one of these videos. Hey, I'm sorry. It was do the gay porn. I yeah, walked yeah. away. I was, I was in I was in one of these video calls one day and I was just like doing something at my desk and I mind like, you, we were streaming this live. Yeah, his we were, his initial were reaction. And we were a good forty five minutes into the show now and yeah, it's going and then, good. Of course, I look at my screen randomly and the first thing I see is a devil's threesome involving three overweight dudes. <laughs> And I'm Push like, sandwich, but yeah, and I'm like, literally oh, right when we said, all right, we've got Charles reaction. That's enough. We pressed end on the live stream and then boom, gay porn. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> I was like, what the hell did I just walk into? <laughs> I think I had to go help a customer. Is that weird? Because like, that's like your first introduction to sex. Like it's, it's not all like that. He jerked the off the gay porn before. Get oh. out of here. I'll, I'll get out of here. Yeah, no. oh. <laughs> they weren't morbidly obese, but close enough. Now we've been trying to figure out for a while who in the compound media staff was it who got caught by their significant other looking at gay porn, and then it became a bit on in hot water. Oh, God, My okay. guess was always Aaron Berg got yeah. caught looking at the gay porn. Yeah, probably. And that he's like, "No, honey, I'm doing it for I'm, I'm doing it for uh, for the show I'm for the show. For I'm a shoe." He's uh, Gino's he's only, gonna hate it. Yeah. I think he's the only guy with a partner. I think I think I don't think I don't think Gino officially has a girlfriend. Yeah, Gino could be watching gay porn unless Garrett saw him and, uh, and then they jerked off together or something. Uh, Garrett doesn't Christine, strike me. Christine's just a beard. Garrett doesn't strike me as a as a closeted homosexual. <laughs> he's he's just out. <laughs> no, he just yeah. he's oh, I said bloated. He's like a regular a fat dude. joke, a fat gay joke. He's like a regular Blue, normal guy. Big. No. Aaron, for sure. Aaron has a checkered past. Ooh, yeah. With uh, with cock. All right, Jeez, Anthony Zenhauser, I just wrote a joke for you for your comedy act. You go like this. Hold on. Hey, let me get I my, saw a fat. Let me get the pen. Get the pen. Right. I saw this fat queer the other day. He was a bloated homosexual. Uh-huh. Okay. And, joke. and that's it. That's it. That's a joke. <laughs> I saw Christ. this. What was it? I saw this. Fat queer. Fat queer. Oh my god. You know, I'm also trying homosexual. To well, this we can do like a wordplay with blow and bloated. A bloated. Would you like to hear my joke? It's like a blatant. Oh boy. Oh, blow Ted. So he blew mm-hmm. Ted. Hmm. That's where you go do. You like that. He was real. He was I knew it cuz he was he blew Ted. He was blue mm-hmm. Ted. He blew Ted. I'll work on it. It's going to be could use much, but I got polishing. I think there's always a little seed of, of humor there somewhere. Will we see Radagast the Brown Rings of Power? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Luke of the Brian. What fucking dare you? What the about Brian. Tom Bombadali? 
<laughs> Tom Bombadil. Who the fuck is that? No, I think um, Tom Bombadil is in the original Fellowship of the Rings. He saves uh, the hobbits. They get eaten by a tree, and Tom Bombadil <laughs> sings a song, and the tree releases them. And he's supposed to be like this. Ah, like, Tom Bombadil, yeah. He's this god. Of, he's like this. Like He sings Bark, Bark at the Moon. Bombadil. Yes, he sings Bark of the Moon. And he Get saves the trees. Hobbit. And he apparently he's Mark. this like he's this he's this entity that's always been on Middle Earth forever. Like he's he's got a mysterious background. Like he takes Frodo's ring and he. And his name is Tom fire. Bombadil. When you said like he's this entity that's been there forever, Tom mm -hmm. Bombadil. Well, that's so he, name, but he was never included in the movie. Yeah, they didn't well, use him. They cut. They, they they there was there was a lot they didn't put in the movie. I mean, if you ever read the books, they're unbelievable. They're great. I don't know. There's too many white people in those books. I just really can't do it. Mm -hmm. I well, need you doing your research. I need diversity. Well, you I'm got sorry. it now. Were you looking up Tom Bombadil? No, I know about Tom Bombadil. Oh, it's blowing yeah. my mind. Yeah. That's it's yeah, blowing yeah. my mind that nobody else sees just, what, what's so weird about Tom part Bombadil. The, part of the Virgin textbook. If you don't know who Bom Dom, Bombadil is, you can't really call yourself a virgin. I know Tom Bombadil. His dick begs to differ. I've clearly. known all. I've known. I mean, I. I will say, I've never actually read the books. Are you? Are you? Is any? Are there any Tolkien fans here? Does anybody like Tolkien? Like, does anybody like Lord of the Rings? I've had I, sex I with do, women. I, I've watched the movies. I've, I've watched enjoyed the movies. The movies and I feel the extended versions are the best versions to watch. I never I've had sex with a lot of women. I've made yeah, fun of the yes, movies. And we know what's happening in here. You don't see. So you think the movies are are stupid? Then, I mean, it's it's all nerd shit. It's a, it's it's fine. It's not like I give a fuck. You know, it's it's. I think they're. I think they're. Uh, I think I think the stories are fun. Something if you grew up with it, it it's like a childhood thing. You know, you like mm. it. But uh, you know, the like, movies people, are people good. Get, Even... People get weird about Star Trek. People get weird about Star Wars. You better watch your fucking weird. mouth. Star Wars is for fags. Star Trek is for big boys. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, yeah really, that's really weird. Let okay. me ask you. You're you read the book. Weird. Your girl. eyes are so close. You're weird, Star Trek. True. I, I, I dare uh, you. Mm -hmm. it doesn't say to timidly go. It says that's from oh, reading the book so much that my eyes kind of started closing in on themselves. They're 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 getting Tolkien close to each other. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I'm not. Know. I didn't. Hold close. on. Let me write that. Let me write that one down. That was a good one. Hold on. <laughs> Down syndrome because yeah, your eyes. Oh no! Nope. I read crazy. part of the Hobbit a long time ago. I couldn't get into it. It was it was, it was um too hard to read. Uh, boring. Too many big words. No, I like big words. I, the first thing I ever read was uh, the complete works of Edgar Allan Poe. No, Jim, you like big women. So uh, that's no big wieners. I don't like big women. <laughs> they smell like milk. Oh yeah, big wieners. I like the milk from Big Cox. Okay, so Luke, Luke of the Blind. So Luke of the Blind. Luke of the Bind. Luke of the Bind. Yeah. Lucas of the Bind. Yeah, you know he wrote that song that you heard on In Hot Water. Look at this. Apple ninety. Apple the ninety. I did poopy. Oh, that one. Well done. Mm -hmm. I'm an artist. I'm an artist. I'm an artist. I'm an artist. You should be singing it, Derek. Your fucking hands are perfect for it. I'm like, I'm doing this. I'm like, and you just naturally can do it. Why the fuck do I got to go through the trouble and crimp myself up like this? You're being inconsiderate. Am I, you, obviously, you agree with me, Anthony Zenhauser, that he's being inconsiderate. Anthony Zenhauser! Should I have to pretend to be a retarded cripple when he's right here? No. no, I shouldn't have to. It's a lot of work. It's an honest answer, right? What? Anyway, yeah, so Luke of the Blind. Yeah, what did he say now? What, Zenny? Was that what you were talking about? He's Lord of the Ring head. Headed? I'm a Lord of the Ring headed. He wants to give you head. head. Mm, Zenny. He wants to give you some head. Lotter head? Lotter head. He, give he'll give you head. head while you're reading the Lord of the Rings to him. This Beck and Zen you wants can you just to hang up and call me. I'm sorry. He's a Bilbo head. I don't know what she's She's a Blumpkin head. What did she think was going to happen if I uh, came Becky, no, he's a professional gonna, comedian. Excuse me, Mr. Howard. You like Robert Frost? He's a professional comedian. Clearly, he understands how great we are. Clearly. And you're just mm -hmm. a dumb woman. So Becky, I'm on the show. Why did you tell him to come on? You know I ruin all the shows. Really? This is your what fault, Becky. What are you doing? Oh, I'm, having a, I'm having a good time, guys. 
Oh, we're give us your best time. joke. Ready, go. Go. So this one guy walks into a bar. Good. He has no nationality, religion, oh, or any specific characteristics or features to his person. And then two other guys walk in, just the same as him. They all go up to the bar at the same time. The first guy, he orders a whiskey. The second guy, he orders a vodka. The third guy, he gets a glass of water. Get it? I think you should stick with me. <laughs> yeah, go back to saving the world from cancer. Yeah, fuck. See, so there's a guy who goes to a bar, right? He sees a, a sandwich sign outside, and he sees a sign that says, uh, "It says uh, uh, cheese sandwiches five dollars, uh, hamburgers ten dollars, hand jobs fifty dollars." All right. So he sees a sign that says, "Grilled cheese five dollars." Says hamburgers ten dollars, hand jobs fifty dollars. So he walks into the bar. I think I've heard this one. She's this really beautiful girl working behind the bar, big tits, beautiful, just you know, young, sexy, wearing a little low cut top, mini skirt. And he goes up, he sits to the bar, and he goes, he goes, hey, you're the one giving out the hand jobs. She says, that's right, sweetie. He says, all right, cool. Go wash your hands and make me a cheese sandwich. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Hey, let's see your wife. Gay. Is that doxing? I don't want to dox her. No, 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 no. <laughs> I got one. Now the Phoebes, they never Is understand. She a minority? Ever. But 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 obviously you as a professional comedian, you're gonna get this one, okay? okay. So, so there's a little boy and he's playing Everybody in like a construction up. yard. Okay, Definitely everybody shut up. This is a good one. And a little boy he's playing in the construction yard and he's just okay. you know, he's like play, picking up tools and he's banging around and he finds a welder's mask and he pops it on. He's like, Ooh, I'm a welder, yeah. He's running around. And all of a sudden, uh, what was he pedophile. Wearing? He was where I just told you he was dressed as a welder, you fucking tard. So uh. The pedophile comes and he's like, "Hey there, little boy, how you doing?" And the little boy's like, "Good, good. I'm a welder." And he goes, "Oh, you're a welder, huh?" And he goes, uh, "Tell me, little boy, do you like fellatio?" And the little boy goes, "Mm-hmm, mm-hmm," because he thinks it's a welding uh, thing. He's like, "Well, this guy thinks I'm a welder, so let me just agree with him." He's like, "Mm-hmm, mm-hmm." mm-hmm. Uh, no, I just I beat the punchline. I just Wait, can't, that's don't the, get raped? That's Wait, the punchline. So you, okay. I didn't actually... I the punchline is, uh, just like stupid, that. stupid guy thinks I'm a welder. <laughs> stupid guy thinks I'm a welder. So well, apparently I shouldn't have given you the child's point. internal monologue on this. I fucked up because I, I, I brought the his mon- internal monologue. What was supposed to happen is he keeps saying dirty things. Do you like anal sex? And the little boy just keeps going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then after the last one, uh, the guy goes, well, uh, get his van. He goes to pull the van around because he's going to rape that child. And mm-hmm. as the guy's walking away, uh, the, the little boy is just feeling all good. He goes, ha, that dumb fuck. He thinks I'm a welder. So... I got Wait, a joke that's kind of almost as good as that one. Oh, I don't think so. It's kind of it's, it's a it's just something that's like it's like a not it's like a knockoff on that gem. So you can try. There's a guy, a little kid. It's a pedophile joke. There's a kid who. Uh, oh, my favorite. We we already love it. There's a kid who he's a tennis camp and uh, he's waiting for his mom outside the parking lot. And he's in his full tennis uniform. He's got his headband on. He's got his shorts on got his racket so a pedophile comes up to the kid and he says hey little boy you into fitness and the little boy says yeah and he goes yeah let's try fitting this cock in your mouth <laughs> that's that a he... little bit blunt though you know that's why it was oh, it's good just, it's it, good it's close oh, it's just it wasn't it didn't hit the mark no Ooh, can it's I just a little blunt still... like the pedophile's cock in the little boy's butt a little just a little too no that was not a, you weren't listening at all okay Oh, Soon try, try it again. Pedophile joke. Take it from the top. So I'll say, so there was a boy who went, who was in tennis camp, and uh, he was waiting for his mom outside to pick him up, and he had the full tennis uniform on. He had his headband on. He had his tennis shorts on. He had the tennis ball in his hand and his racket. All of a sudden, a pedophile comes swinging around in a van, and he says, hey, little boy, you into fitness? And the boy says, yeah. And the pedophile says, oh, yeah, try fitting this cock in your mouth. I get it because I, I think you skipped the yeah last get, time. The way yeah. you inflicted the yeah, like right, that, put right, the whole right. the power same joke. Into it. The pedophile rolls up and he says, "Hey, 
Are you into, uh, you want to join a racket? You know, if this is the kind of like crowd it. that loves in hot water, it makes so much sense to me. <laughs> yeah. see really you, see you so like this tennis, one time like I was racket. raping a child. Five days a week, huh, Gina? It's a sex Five racket. days a week, plus a Patreon on top of it. For these gems, for these fucking... Yeah. Right. Oh. Well, let me tell you, I've been exploring the oh, fandom of, of Compound Media, and uh, this is the cream of the crop. Let me just tell you that. That's all I can say. Like, we're talking half-head people. Like, literally people mm -hmm. missing the top of their skull and shit. Which one? Uh, tell me. The one with the no, cap can't, on? I, can't, I can't talk about it. I can't Puerto Rican? Really, he's too sensitive, yes. That's why, with the That's why he wears the do-rag. Oh. Um, he doesn't have the half of his head is missing. Yeah. yeah, he was yeah. very upset when uh, Donald Trump uh, won the primary. And sent his family home. Made his family go back home. To Mexico kicked him out. Africa. Want to hear a really hilarious story? What Fine. I just said was actually true. I do have a friend. He was a homosexual. Uh, uh -huh. He killed himself when Trump won the primary, not uh -huh. the election, the primaries. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is he okay? That's hilarious. He's dead. He killed himself. He died from it. How did he do it? <laughs> Jumped off a bridge. Not even a tall bridge either. Like he he lived for eight days. <laughs> you, you would have thought he would have been able to float. Yeah, you would. With uh, why? Why would he float? I don't know. Well, I don't know why I said that. I was trying to because he was a because he was a uh, no, bloated homosexual because he I was mean, he was a fat guy. I feel bad for you. The river and drowned for you. You probably probably hurt you pretty bad, right? No, no. I heard he went. No, no. Last time I saw him was on a New Year's when we all got we all got fucked up tripping an acid. He because he was like this hippie guy, and this is the perfect example of the left wing really he was this guy who was all about spirituality and how the world is corrupt and i i have him hanging out with at the a bunch of fucking like rap loving fucking bling bling loving retards and bling, bling. we all trip on acid and watch the celestine prophecy which i don't know if you guys know about it this is some hippy dippy shit we're all we're all interconnected this and that it's exactly about what he's constantly preaching about he, we all watched this in acid, and like this whole room of fucking retards had an epiphany watching it. Had this spiritual moment that this lefty fucking extremist could ever dream for. Mm -hmm. And as soon as it was, it was over, he just turned and looked at everybody and just started condemning them about all of their commercialist evils and this and that. And he just mm -hmm. fucking went nuts on them. And then he that tried breaking in on me. I was trying to do sex in the bathroom uh, with a transvestite. And he kept breaking down the door. Trying to get in, and telling me uh, he he needs my attention, but that was the last time I saw him. And that, that was wasn't like the last time he years. saw him. The last time he saw him, he did this. <laughs> well, he'll be missed. I'm no, sure. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. Oh, but that, I, I think that's a good example of the left. They don't fucking these these spiritualist people. They don't see mm -hmm. the fucking things that happen around them. They just demand for something to happen that they really don't want to happen. You mean like just believing, saying, you mean like being a Christian? Yeah, being a Christian is much like that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the okay. bowl, woman? It doesn't make any sense. Much like being a Christian, yeah. Uh, how was your religious upbringing, Mr. Anthony Zenhauser? It was great. How was yours? Uh, I was baptized like fucking a dozen times before I was 16 years old, so, you know, yeah. it was weird. Maybe they were trying to drown you. Oh, I think so. I think okay. so. Right. Is this trying to drown you? We mm -hmm. found the devil, child. Hold him down longer this time. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we've we've held you up long enough. Lord of the Rings talk. Oh, not good enough. Okay. I no, Lord of the Rings oh, talk. Okay. I'm saying we were going to give you your Lord of the Rings talk. What? Like, we we well, we listen, kept it from you. You've been lured in here with the thing. bait. Because because you know we're not good enough. Well, here's the thing. I, I see. Yo, the Zen comic is on Faggots Network right this minute discussing the Gino Bisconti saga. So I got. I see what you did. Who did that? I don't know who did running, that? I don't know who's running the faggots thing. Frankie is McDonald? It? Yeah, not Frankie. me. That's no, who's running. Frankie that's wouldn't say no. That's who owns the show, right, Jim? Frankie's not, Frankie's not straight. Frankie McDonald owns this show. That's correct. Listen, I, I'm not even supposed to be here today, okay? I had no idea this show was happening. Yeah, whatever you say, Don. Don hey. talking about the Gino so, the Gino on the show. It's the Gino saga. It's the show. <laughs> 
I mean, that's not a fucking retard. I don't know what is, right? I would say he's a special. Listen, did you see the new uh, photos of him? That 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 photographer was capturing some real sadness. John Rashford. Some real art. A retard. The thing is, he's comfortable with who he is. He doesn't wear masks on shows. You know, like he comes out, he, he fucking he he's all cranky. He'll eat a dozen imaginary hamburgers like that for your pleasure. He'll come on in hot water and 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 you know give you the gold. Make the world smile. I think you're lying dog? about this Anthony Zenhauser thing, by the way, Anthony Zenhauser. I'm not I think Anthony you're Zenhauser. lying about it. I'm nope. Not. No, you're I not. think you're actually... Your eyes are too far. Yeah, go, for <laughs> it, go for it. Go for it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Say it. You don't look like anybody at all. <laughs> I don't know. There's like there nobody go. I can... There's nobody... Who's he look like, you guys? Oh, the Curly from the Three Stooges. There you go. See, it took you a while, but you got there. Yeah. Had to go all the way back though into film mm-hmm. history to find it. So oh, the Lord. Mm-hmm. So did you want to talk about the Lord of the Rings or who watches? Oh, you're like you, you're it, like a it? small Will Sasso. There it is. Yes, small I want to talk one. about Lord of the Rings. Don't you think Lord like of the Rings made one. a mistake by 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 premiering next to House of Dragons, which is far superior? Now let's talk about House of Dragons. How great I never, is so, that? I, I don't, I've never seen one episode of oh, Game of Thrones. You're lucky. You're lucky because now yeah. you can enjoy Lord you of the Rings. Watch House of Dragons. Dragons. You well, here's the thing: Amazon, the Amazon country. spent like a billion dollars on the on the Rings of Power. They were mm-hmm. very confident that it was going to be a. Con- thank God he's gone. There was going to be a, it, was, it was a constant like. Oh, yeah, yeah. They thought it was going to be like a real contender with the House of Dragons, not really underestimating. Like, okay, that's that's. Oh, uh, what's his name? The uh, the guy who did the uh, the Game of Thrones. What's his name? George, George R. R. Martin. Martin. The pedophile. I mean, is that R- weird that he has like the same kind of like the RR, the HH thing going on? Well, he on? did it on purpose. He literally did it because of Tolkien. His that's he, that's his, really, his work that's... is admittedly a Tolkien ripoff with uh, it's real world. It's like, it's like Lord of the Rings, but with like cock. And... Well, now that's a South Park joke because I was just told that today by somebody. They said that's a South Park joke that's just know. a. Lord of the Rings with tits and cock. It's it's a troll is what it is. He convinced I mean, a billion thinking. people to read pedophile porn. They fucking cream pie 14-year-old Daenerys' vagina hole. And it's like um, movie Batman. It's, it's, it's all like described. Uh, Lord of the Rings is the, the, well, back the, in the back Adam in the West Batman. Batman. And mm-hmm. Game of Thrones is fucking Michael Keaton Batman. Fucking made it darker. Like That's emails, all it is. Like, like yeah. Know. Like there's like fun George Clooney 90s Batman. And then there's... Yeah. Robert then there's George Clooney like, in Return, like, Return of the Killer Tomatoes. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's my George Clooney. That's the Batman, that's, that's 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 the that's the movie that Kevin Smith should remake. Which one? The Attack of the Killer Tomatoes Part Two. Oh yeah, Just that'd that'd be one. Good one. Yeah, and get George Clooney to reprise his role. 40 years later. <laughs> but yeah, you're uh, lucky you're not watching this because now you get to enjoy this Lord of the Rings. I don't hate it. I love I love, the, I love the Rings of Power. Did you guys ever watch it? It's unbelievable. I've been watching every episode, but it, like I'm telling you, I I, it's, it's unbelievable. just no, it's sucks right. in comparison. No, I watched an episode. I was like, yeah, that, that probably would have happened. It's, it's, it's not yeah. bad. There's it's no such not, thing as elves. It's not bad. It's it's enjoyable. I I like the visuals. The Except visuals for the elf's good. black wife. That's unbelievable. <laughs> That's what I would I'll say. The, is there the dwarf? You mean the uh, the dwarf? Thank you, thank you. Wife. Yeah, the dwarf. The dwarf. Yeah, not yeah. What's up with that? As a Tolkien reader, is that correct? Is that yeah. correct? Because like I've already I've been researching uh, about the black elves, and that's correct because of the Sylvan Wood Elf. I don't know if you were here when we met. Wood Elf. Is that, that like before. stand? Y- 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 wood no, ends. I, wood I, ends. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have a problem with the black and the white and the the different ethnicities. Is, it doesn't really matter, right? I mean, it does in, in, in the case of the elves, because in specific, that the darker race, the dark skinned race of elves, refused to go over the mountain, and they became the wood elves. Well, that's which, like in, in in Star Trek, all the blacks are Klingons. Not actually. I mean, uh, you, if you watch the original, they, they were more black. like Chinese. Gowron wasn't black. He was played by a white dude. His mustache. Well, all the all the important Klingons. This is the racism you get in Star Trek. You're right. Like, no. All the important although they're Klingons not now. Were, you know, let me fucking talk, dude. No. Let no, me get the floor. Please. The, go. the uh, all the important Klingons were were white. Mm. Christopher Lloyd played Khan, right? 
Oh, not Cod. Christopher Lloyd no, played uh, whatever his he name. He played. Was. He played a Klingon though. He played like the the main cat, the main bad guy in the first one, right? Uh, I think it was um, he the killed, third. Uh, uh, the third one, Search for Spock. No, Search for Spock. I didn't know Christopher Lloyd was in it at all. Yeah, I didn't watch the movie. Yeah. Did they find him? It was him? like, uh, oh, it was like oh, it's Kirk. Oh, I need to get out. Of... You know, yep. one point. Does. A number gigawatts, Kirk. No, 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 the, old, the only Klingon I remember uh, or something. Yeah. Rock was a white Klingon. He was a light bearer. I thought yeah. he was in the um, undiscovered country. I thought no. it was Search for Spock because that's when he killed. Um, it might have been Search for Spock. The I only know. real when the only he black, killed on Kirk's son. The only black guy that played a Klingon that that made it like that it was significant was Worf. Warf. Michael okay. Horn. Yeah. I like that one scene in the search for Spark where uh, Kirk, he opens up a door and he goes, Hey, yo, Spark, you in here? I remember that one. I remember Did it too. It's still not funny. No. <laughs> yo, man, I ain't playing. Where you, you don't at, get man? Him. You just don't get his humor. Are the uh, are the Klingons now good. black though? I think the I don't know that there's any black actors cast. It would be as... racist now that if you made the Klingons black now. I think it would just be like a racist. Yeah, like, why, why they got make them wear a mask? Make well, them wear masks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do wear masks. They, they're completely no like prosthetics. Shit. The Klingons are would be dumb looking now. But... but was it the first season the only one that we really got the Klingons in it? Uh, uh, they showed up in season two as well. well Warf, yeah. Well, no, they they show up all over the place. Well, we're referring to the, the discovery new generation, the new gener, the new new. I don't watch. I don't watch that fucking They're great. Shit. You're yeah. horse shit. It's not. No, 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 no. That's all. Oh, horse I shit. never did a retard joke. I didn't try to rape that boy with Bob Levy. I wasn't holding them down. We haven't it's... done this dozens of times. Why before. you have to? Why does it have to be that dumb, dumb voice? That's oh, saying that. Can't I just well, like, make that kind of why can't I be an English voice? I, I didn't rape that boy. I didn't have him down with you. Oh, I didn't me. rape that little boy. I'm I, I don't do good as old I am. I'm going to be a gentleman one day when I go to London town. <laughs> Haven't you ever oh, been to London town? town. So I have never <laughs> make a reference out of <laughs> Oh, this is what I got. Toys. You haven't heard Cock 2 and Mela? He knows he's, he's, being, he's trying to be joking, but he's, he knows too much, and it's so sad. Yeah, this is an actual scene from next. He's generation. actually like, he's actually speaking Klingon. It's so funny. <laughs> Where he go? He's in a bar and he asks this waitress to play some Klingon opera. I'm actually yeah, and then what happened? Aktu and Mela, Aktu Mela, and then they stop the song. And like, Turn that shit off. No, they didn't curse on that one. I mean, I yeah, understand this is a shit show. But was there any cursing? In, I think I think there was cursing in some Star Star Treks. Uh, they never cursed in Star Wars. No, no the no, first that, F that bomb was yeah. That stuff was know, always what the fuck. There was friendly. actually a curse word in the Andor show today. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, good for you. with your stupid. No one cares about that queer Star. Why Wars Why does Star shit? Wars have shit? Andor what? What, what is Andor? Is that the uh, movie? Andor? It's a new or Star or Wars show on Disney. About the Ewok. The Ewok and or what? Keep it up. Hey, man, you're going to go bye-bye. But, but seriously, and or what, Lou? You brought the damn thing up. They said the word shit. Oh, wow. Why and then Anthony the Zenhauser word? said, is that yeah. gay Ewoks? I mean, is it really that big of a deal the for them to say shit? Mm-hmm. Hey, you guys, look at my asshole. They fucking make coffee cap. Look at your asshole. <laughs> so why are you using shit? They don't use... Right, this is getting out of fucking hand. We really this need to rein out of hand all get back to the years. Lord of the Rings talk right now before Anthony Zendauer leaves. What's a Zenhauer? 